Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Skinner. I want to thank you for taking time to ask a question. This question is, uh, can a marriage survive infidelity? Now, I want to address this from a few different lenses. Can it versus should it are two very different questions. So the answer to can it is yes. The research shows that many individuals uh, and couples, as they go through infidelity and affairs, that they are together for a significant period of time after discovery of an affair and infidelity. So the, the question is, is can a marriage survive infidelity or an affair? The answer is yes. Now, the, maybe the more important question is, should it? And what I mean by that is many times individuals, when they stay together, they uh, don't put in their heart, they don't put in their effort, and, and so they really never get back to the place maybe of their marriage before the betrayal. So that's one thing, but I'm going to offer a different perspective here for a second. I believe that individuals are waiting too long to make that decision of whether they're going to put their heart into it. In particular, I have found that the betraying partner, I'm going to separate betrayed versus betraying partner. I found that the betrayed partner sometimes waits so long to really make that decision that by the time they, so to speak, wake up, their partner emotionally is, is exhausted and worn out. And they're like, I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm, and, and so then the betrayed partner says, I'm done. And at that point, the betraying partner is like, oh, wait, well, you're done? And, and so my suggestion, and I've had individuals um, who've come to my office, and when their betrayed partner finally says, I'm done, I can't do it anymore, it puts them into a shock. Really? They've waited too long. The heart has been broken and they have given up. And so if there has been infidelity and an affair in your relationship, I encourage you, especially the betraying partner, to really do a deep self-evaluation and identify what it is you truly want. And if you don't know, you need to put into focus that question. Because the longer you wait, the more pain you create, the more your partner feels to disconnect. And the research shows that it is usually the betrayed partner that is filing for divorce. And, and so if a marriage can survive infidelity, it usually is because the betraying partner wakes up quickly and realizes, I need to change, otherwise this is not going to work. So can it? Yes. Should it? It depends on the relationship, the dynamics of it, because it's not just about the affair. There's almost always other behaviors besides the affair or the infidelity that are driving the behavior. And so if you are the betraying partner, you need to do some self-analysis and identify what is it that's driving me into these behaviors. And ultimately then, if I'm going to make changes, am I willing to do that? Am I ready to make the changes? Now, something that I have done is I've created a, an online a course on really are we prepared to make the changes necessary. And, and it's really, a, are you willing to put in time, effort? Do you have a desire? Are there resentments that are resolved, unresolved? These are things that I encourage you to look through. So I have an online course designed just for this purpose is to say, are we ready to, to make it through this infidelity or affair? Are we really to put, ready to put in the effort? And in particular, if you're not ready, then really what happens is you spin your wheels for an extended period of time. And in, rea in reality, it hurts both of you because you're not moving forward. You're kind of sitting on the fence. And the consequence of that is you both are in pain and you're not feeling like you're moving in any direction at all. So a strong recommendation, get prepared. If you're going to work on the relationship, do the work and find out quickly if you're going to do the work, if you're the betraying partner. If you're the betrayed partner, my suggestion to you is get as much information as possible. Find out if that's what you want. And you may be looking for information. What information do you need to make an informed decision about your relationship? So different questions. Can a marriage survive infidelity? The answer is yes. Should it? It depends on the work and the effort of two people who are they willing to put in their hearts. In particular, the betraying partner. Are you willing to take up a responsibility to make amends so your relationship can heal? I'm Dr. Kevin Skinner. Uh, this is just a short idea or concept for it to get you thinking about can a marriage survive infidelity the answer is yes should it it depends on the work that you're willing to put in i suggest that you start earlier 
rather than waiting to get in, you know, am I, do I want this, do I not want this? The longer you wait, that place of limbo creates a lot of pain. Anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas, something to think about. I appreciate you taking the time to let me share these thoughts with you.